61A, lecture number 25. Announcements. Homework 5 is due on Monday. It was released over a week ago, and it's not terribly long. But I think it is good review for the midterm on Wednesday, so I hope you work through it. We have an unusual schedule this week, so I'll just go through it day by day. On Monday, we'll have instructor office hours as always. We will also have a lab orientation. However, the only required part of Lab 9 is that you finish Homework 5. All of the lab problems are optional, and you do not need to submit the lab in order to get credit for it. You just have to finish Homework 5. We will have homework parties, 3 to 4 and 7 to 8. You can read about them here in case you want some help solving the homework. There will be no lab parties this week since the lab questions are all optional, but if you have questions about them, go to lab orientation. Wednesday, we will have instructor office hours and a midterm. Announcements for the midterm begin at 7 p.m. Pacific time. We will release the password on Piazza at 7.10 p.m. and the exam will last 110 minutes until 9 p.m. We will not have discussion, tutorials, or lecture on Wednesday just some instructor office hours, and the midterm. There are no staff office hours Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. On Friday, we will not have instructor office hours because the topic of the lecture on the ethical use of data and AI is something that I think we should discuss in the afternoon. So, Professor Farid and I will have instructor ask us anything from 2.10 to 3 p.m. This will not be recorded, and I hope you come with some interesting questions. They don't have to be about the lecture, although they could be. They could be about anything at all. There will be no exam prep section this Friday, since you will have already taken the exam. Here are some tips for midterm two prep. There's a practice exam available Monday. We're going to have a timed period from 11 to 1, where we'll make sure that we're answering your questions on Piazza but we'll also have a version available all the time in case you have something else to do from 11 to 1, but you still want to work through the practice exam. The practice exam is just the questions from last spring's midterm two, but placed into the fall 2020 current semester format. Here's a Piazza post of lecture Q&A exam problems that were discussed in the past. We discussed a couple more on Friday that I added to the list, and I recommend reading through the midterm two study guide so that you know what content will be on the exam. Midterm 2 itself will start on Wednesday. I emailed you with important information. I hope you read it. Here's a link to the Piazza post about that. Textbook content, lecture content. We will have video proctoring where you should record yourself using Zoom. Or if Zoom doesn't work for you, you could record yourself with your phone. You can use any number of pages as scratch paper and as notes that you create yourself. But if you have electronic notes, then you have to put them in a Google Doc and give edit access to cs61a at berkeley.edu so that we can check your notes if needed. You can use anything on the course website, but you cannot use the rest of the internet. And you cannot communicate or collaborate with anyone else. Even if you find a question that's hard, you still can't text your friend. Don't do it. What I hope you do do is review a little bit and then get a good night's sleep before the exam. If the weather's nice, take a walk and just try to stay relaxed. I know there's a lot of content in midterm two, but if you just read through the questions and answer them the best you can methodically and diligently without getting too worried as you go, that tends to be the best way to score well on the exam. But in order to do that, you do need some sleep and you need to try to stay relaxed. I know that's easier to say than to do, but I hope it works out. Okay, here are the links. And today we have a very special lecture. In the end of semester student survey, I often ask students what worked well for you in the course. And a lot of people do mention this particular lecture, which is always a video. It's never been a live lecture since I taught this course. And this lecture was part of the course even long before I taught this course. The lecture is from the 80s. And it shows you a bunch of videos of stuff from the 60s. So it's really old. 
The main presenter, Alan Kay, invented the first object-oriented programming language called Smalltalk. He and his team at Apple invented many of the features of a modern PC operating system. And the other folks that he cites invented a good deal of other things, you know, stuff like the window and the mouse. So this is not just a history lesson. This is supposed to inspire you, give you ideas, and give you a sense that what we've been learning about in this course, programming languages, might have something deeply important to say about the field of user interfaces and human-computer interaction. Okay, enjoy.